Hello everyone, it is John and Pippin, and oh dear, somebody's honestly getting heavier. Hello. <laughs> Why do you always do this every time? Come on, you put your big head round and say hello to everybody. Everybody watches this just to see you, you know. They do. They don't watch this show to watch me. There we go, there's a beautiful... Oh, there was a beautiful picture of his lordship. Yes. Well, it's a Sunday, which means I'm taping for my weekly mo weekly moffle, weekly waffle. And yesterday was the first board game barbecue game day that I attended. And oh my goodness, it was massive. I have not seen so many people at an event for a very, very long time, and it was. And it was wonderful. It was wonderful, even considering that this is COVID times, if we'd like to call it that. Uh, yeah, it was it was nice, and uh, I will, I guess, have more to say about uh, about that event in uh, in due course, as uh, I have yet to put together my full thoughts, um, but they're mostly positive, and uh, some suggestions, I guess. And that comes from my nearly 40 years worth of running events myself. So uh, that's just the that's just the organizer in me looking at how I would have done things differently. But yeah, all right. So this week, oh my goodness, I've actually played some games. So I caught up with uh, caught up with my friend Dana, which was uh, which was good during the week. Um, she came and visited, and um, what did I teach her? Oh, that's right, King Domino Duel. So, uh, and uh, that was quite good. Then Wednesday night, that's right, Wednesday night we caught up as well with Nick, uh, the uh, other lady in the group, and we played Lost Ruins of Arnak again. And uh, that was really good. And what did we follow that up with? Oh, Splendor. Splendor. Um, I must admit, I don't actually have that sitting in my collection. And I really must get around to to getting that one. So it's quite a nice... It's got a tactile feel to it. I really do like that poker chip feel to the, uh, to the items. So that I think I'm going to have to, uh, have to get. So have you had enough of me? Yep, he's had enough. He said, no, Dad, that's it. So that was uh, that was that, and then on Friday night, night I went round to Nick's place, and uh, we played quite a few quite a few games. And I introduced her to Hannah Makoji. Oh, Makoji! <laughs> My voice is trying to recover, I think, from the uh, from yesterday. It was a really really long day, and the. Uh, that was really, really good. I think um, Nick was telling me yesterday that uh, her brain was still processing um, the moves and how to work out, you know, working out strategies for trying to uh, better play that game. And uh, so I'm pleased that <clears throat> I'm pleased that somebody has enjoyed that game because I've not played that for so long. And uh, we were looking. I was looking at two-player games in the event that uh, her two children uh, did not want to uh, did not want to join uh, which sadly they didn't uh, what was another one I played was harvest dice uh, that was a really simple really simple game although there was a mechanism in there called feed the pig if you didn't like the dice and there's a massive box worth of you know sections that you cross off for feeding the pig and I'm there going how in heaven's name are you going to be sacrificing so many dice to feed the pig interesting i'm still a little bit at a loss as to how you would um cross that many boxes off but obviously the mechanism is there so it was yeah it, it was really really interesting but i i certainly enjoyed that one so that was uh, that was harvest dice so we uh we did that 
Hannah Makoji, um, Dice, uh, sorry, the, um, oh, my blank, mind's gone blank now, and I've only just said it a moment ago. Look, I'm still trying to recover from yesterday. It was, it was strange. But yes, um, getting on to yesterday's um, board game barbecue game day was that the opportunity to meet some new people was, was wonderful. And I'd like to give a shout out for the people who uh, I actually got to meet, which was wonderful and I honestly can't remember how I got to meet them, and I think it was only through um, through Dana, I think, um, lassoing them in, I think. I'm not too sure how that happened, but it was. I think it was through them, because honestly, I was lost. Uh, I would probably hazard a guess that I'd probably be the oldest person that was there. Uh, I think most of the others, I think, might have had an might have have a might have had an average age somewhere perhaps in their thirties, uh, maybe early forties. But uh, uh, yeah, so it was yeah. So a shout out to uh, some lovely people that I that I met, and that would be Felicity, and to Vince and Matt. Uh, we played um, Quacks of, um, what is it, Quacks of Quiddlingburg, or whatever it is. Um, that was a really, really, you know, initially I thought, oh, what's this game? And the version that uh, I saw had um, some very nice glass uh, glass beads for the, um, for the, uh, the piece uh, for the pieces for the potions or whatever and I really really like them I don't know if that is standard I have a feeling the uh, the commercial version I think is just cardboard I have a feeling I could very well be wrong so don't quote me um, but I really did like quacks so the only problem is is that retail in the stores around Brisbane they seem to be around about hundred and twenty dollars for quacks which is uh, fairly dear, in my opinion. So um, I do um, think that it might be a while before one looks at quacks. So I might have to wait for it second hand, perhaps. If I'm ever so lucky, that's the problem, you know. As a pensioner, I don't have the money. And of course, when people tend to sell things second hand is when I don't have the cash. And of course, you know, pension day, you go looking and there's none on the shelves. Or you go, oh, geez, $120. Oh, that's a lot of money for for a game. But I got two games of Quacks yesterday, which was which was really, really good. And as I said, look, thank you very much, Felicity, Vince and Matt, for our game yesterday. That was marvellous. And um, I certainly hope that we do catch up sometime. Uh, in the future, through some other means, and uh, and get some games in. I thought that was that was marvellous. And of course, uh, we also played a game of Raiders of the North Sea, which um, strangely enough, I managed to win. I think I won. I have to check my thing. And and that was um, again both of them. I think um, the scores were still fairly close. I think there might have only been like about ten point difference between first and last place. So everybody, like with Felicity and Vince being their first game, I think they did really, really well. Vince, his um, his conquest of the offerings was really, really impressive. The victory points that he was clocking up there had me really worried. Um, I went the route of just sacrificing. I was just digging graves for my warriors. I was going after all the Valkyries, um, which, you know, put me up on the track. And then I think at the end, I had crew that gave me victory points at the end of the game, which cemented me eight, which uh, catapulted me well and truly ahead. So that was a, uh, a tactic that nobody realised, I think, that I had at the end. So, yeah. yeah. So, all right. Um, I'm going to now end this little segment and uh, because I'm now going to put my thoughts together to cover um, 
I guess my thoughts with regards to the board game barbecue day. So let's come back in a couple of, well, less than a second. You know what? I actually had a 22 minute critique of the game day yesterday at Board Game Barbecue. And in the end, I decided why. Nobody's going to listen to an old man. They never do. So the only thing I'm going to do is list a couple of things that I think need to be really addressed. One is the table space. It was poorly set out. I think that's going to be my biggest critique. That really needs to be addressed. The size of the tables are inappropriate for many of the games that are being used. The way that you could fix that is my old club, the uh, Blind Pig, we still have the uh, war game tabletops, which are a 3x3 three three tabletop. We still have them. I'm quite sure that uh, Paul and I, or Paul, can come to some arrangement for you to be able to uh, to use them. So I'd suggest that you either contact me or Paul, um, and uh, I'm fairly sure you can use them. I'd suggest some very cheap uh, tablecloths or bed linen over the top. Okay, it means a bit more work, but you'll find that there'll be a lot, a, lot of, a lot of happier people being able to use a 3x3 three three, uh, table surface to play games on than those long skinny tables that are currently in use. So that's my uh, primary, primary uh, bit of uh, com pardon me, um, complaint there. Uh, the other one is the, uh, is the food and beverages. Uh, the venue expensive, uh, particularly if you're going to attract a range of people coming. Uh, myself as a pensioner, those prices are out of my range. So unless you're only wanting to uh, attract the hoi polloi, uh, well and good, or people with lots of disposable income, well and good. But again, uh, you need to start thinking about just who are the people you're wanting to attract to your events and whether or not the venue is really suitable for the vast majority of people being able to um, to attend. Uh, the other thing is that uh, black for shirts uh, doesn't stand out in the crowd. If people are looking for uh, event organisers in the sea of people Dark colours doesn't stand out. So while it helps your your brand logo, uh, it doesn't do much for helping other people try and find you for the day. And okay, I think you had the red bandanas or the the red kerchiefs, um, but I think that was only in relation to the game. I think that was being played. But you know, for the event organisers, I think you really do need a uh, a colour. Uh, that stands out a lot, a lot, a lot better, uh, and the fact I really despise black as a colour for a shirt, for a shirt anyway. So it's uh, okay, might be easier to keep clean and things like that, but not the uh, not the best of colours to be used. Uh, the other one was air conditioning or the the coldness that was in the room. Far too cold, far too cold. Uh, it was just as well I came rugged. For some reason, uh, I don't know why. I just thought it was cold when I left in the morning, and uh, I thought it was going to be a fairly warm day. But I was surprised at just how chilly that room was. I don't know from what I heard you were going to use the room again or this venue again for the next event, and uh, so consequently, uh, if you're going to use it again, continue to use this event continuously. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be like in summer. If the air conditioning is going to struggle with that body of people being in there, 
it could be very, very unpleasant. So uh, that was uh, that. Was that. Check-in. Um, yeah, look, I don't know. Oh, my dog's often, often racing. He always has to bark at just the wrong time, doesn't he? Um, but yeah, the uh, other thing is being able to introduce new people to each other on the day. I think something needs to be done. And here am I saying, oh, look, nobody, I'm not going to bother about doing this, but I'm going to bother about doing this. Look, new people on the day, you need to have a concierge. There needs to be somebody dedicated to doing nothing more than running around and looking after new people and getting people involved in the day and keeping people occupied. Well, not so much occupied, but moving people around, getting people doing things and um, particularly the new people because if you're wanting to to grow the brand and to to get more people involved uh, then uh, you need to be seen as a if you're wanting to be seen as a caring and uh, and a helpful community then trying to set up the networks because that's what I was seeing happening with particularly and it was amongst the new people and it was the new people seeing other new people, not new people meeting some of the older click groups that I was seeing that was happening. So, which is sad because uh, it's the, uh, you know, a lot of the, uh, I guess, the more entrenched groups are the ones I think that are needing the, the fresher blood coming in. But that's my opinion as an old man who's uh, who's seen all the click groups come and go and uh, you know it's far more fun to have new people and meet new people than it is I guess to continuously play sometimes with the same old people that you've been playing with for the last 30 years not that I can talk about that I've outlived most of my gaming friends so um, it's nice to be able to play with anybody these days and obviously an event like board game barbecue is the best way to do it but it's very hard if uh, existing groups already um, are happening and you turn up and you can't find a way to be able to do it and of course okay so you've got this you know the the sign in to get yourself into a game or whatever but uh, look I'm an old man and I don't use technology much or I don't like using technology much so I like to be able to turn up. So if you had a concierge who was sitting at the front desk, whose job it was to try and get people involved in games, that's what you're there for. And I know it's a thankless task, and that's what organising events are, thankless tasks. You don't get to enjoy yourself, and your job is really to run around and do nothing else except make other people happy. One day. One day of making sure everybody else is happy. I know, I've done it. And the nice thing is that at the end of the day, you get to hear, on the whole, most people saying positive things about what you've done. And on the whole, I must admit that I was very happy. I got to meet a lot of people. Also, not a lot of people. I, met to meet, I got to meet a handful of people. That's how many. A handful of people that were very nice to me. And I can't complain. Would have liked to have met more, but that was just the way things are. That's what happens when you're a mad a lunatic such as myself. So, uh, but yes. Anyway, look, that is, I guess, my roundup on that. So take it as you will. Uh, I will leave it there. So till next time, signing off, the Honourable John.